How does your combatives or fighting system change the moment a blade or a firearm is introduced? You may be carrying them or somebody else who's attacking you is, but a lot of our moves, if we're honest, don't really account for these tools being implemented. Today, I'm with my buddy, Alan Baker. Alan Baker is the founder of SeaTac, and he also teaches classes for us, Warrior Poet Society, in our mat to muzzle class. That's what this is. It brings in guns, blades, real life situations and martial art fighting systems into one venue so you can figure out what works and what doesn't. It's Matt DeMuzzle, Alan Baker, and uh, we're going to get started right now. Here we go. All right, so today we're going to take a look at some uh, grappling options with a firearm. We're not really dealing with this concept in, with weapon disarms or that type of thing. What we're looking at is we are in an encounter and maybe we're ambushed, but we ended up on the ground. And today we're going to work out of the ground position. And so we're fighting and all of a sudden maybe the threat recognizes that we're carrying yeah. and he goes for it. A lot of gun guys immediately think that because you have a gun, all problems are solved. I run into this all the time and it's just not true. Typically a fight will go physical before it goes lethal and to have a blade or a gun introduced in the middle of a fight once distance has been closed already, this happens all the time and your gun and your skills on the range is just not enough. It's not. And so, Alan, uh, what, you said you wanted us to start in guard? Yeah, we'll play with the guard first. And this is a common thing you'll see a lot of in the industry right now. The threat recognizes that there's a gun and we both make an attachment to it. One of the reasons for this is it turns uh, your arm wrestling contest into fighting my right. body. Yeah. So if it comes out, we're both in an arm wrestling contest. Yeah. So I can stay here and grapple. Okay or I can start to try to make space. Once I've made, sorry sir, once I make a little bit of space, I'm gonna look at my attack Ugh. options to deal with the guy. You got good treads on your boots. Ugh. Sorry sir. While I'm making the space, I can start to Ugh. attack. That's nasty bro. Space, and then possibly come up and engage a target or leave. So one of the next things to take a look at is common escapes from positions that we choose from jiu-jitsu and adding the same elements that we want to achieve into those techniques. An example is escaping side and going to guard. Well, so this is a pretty common technique uh, that you'll see in grappling, but the drawback to it is if I do the escape and I come in front of you, I'm offering you the gun. Yeah, you just brought it to me. Right. Okay. Now I could fight the same game that we just took a look at try to get space, yeah. but I'd like to choose a technique that takes the gun away from you. Got it. So one of the first ones we'll do is we'll go to the back door escape. I'll start to kind of come out behind them yeah, like that. Got and it. it also gives me access to the feet. Cool. Yeah, you can break that ankle real easy. And I, and I, I want to be leaving yeah. as I'm doing the technique yeah. if I can get out of it. Yeah, that, that, that's a pretty screwed position right there. Um, so that's one of them, we, we nickname it the back door escape. Yeah, and if I let go of that wizard, you just take my back completely, <laughs> really or screwed. Make so, space and switch yeah. to another system. Yeah, okay. So one more time, just create a little space. I like to get the yoke grip. Yeah, this is the, that, that's the key behind it right here. It's right up there, right? And start to travel behind them. Okay. I'd like access to your feet because we've looked at this previously, different destructions that I can do. Yep. And I'm exiting. Yeah. I was, I was trying to, um, I wanted a pair of pants that didn't have any metal eyelets anywhere for your mats today, and this is all I had. I don't know why you're sweating, I'm fine. I know. So now if we're introducing an edge weapon, um, I'm gonna take the same thing into consideration. If I were to do the escape side and go to guard, same as I brought the weapon into more into play, I'm bringing my vital organs more into play. So mm -hmm. I would prefer to exit in a position that takes those things farther away from you, yeah. unless you force me not to. If I'm unable to uh, leave that position, that kill zone, which is right in front of you, whether we're standing or on the ground, I've got to get a double reinforced grip 
on the weapon system. That sucks on a blade. It does easier suck on, on a blade. A, or, I mean, uh, easier on a gun, but blades, man. Tremendously. And you look at one of the reasons is, how do I get a hold of that? Yeah. Uh, all of my options you have. Yeah. My, so for me, I try to get a double reinforced grip on the hand as much as possible. Yeah. It's still a bad day. And then I might do the second option, which is try to start making space, mm -hmm. clearing, taking myself away from you, and try and attack you in the process, like we saw earlier yeah. with the gun. Let's say we have, uh, I don't know, what, what you would say was common is, we're in kind of a on the ground, neutral-ish skirmish for a blade that is introduced. And we're both kind of going for that. Uh. Uh, for me, if it is in a scenario, yeah, I would try to get it as far away from the scenario as yeah. possible. <laughs> That's a great option. <laughs> and then start That's a great option. Yeah. If I have that option, yeah. Um, if I am unable to, maybe it was down here. So, so meaning you can't get a hold of it, and you're worried even if you do. Now it becomes the. You rather just take the whole thing out of Correct. play. Correct. If you think about it, like um, if me and you grapple right now, yeah, the percentage of us dying might be pretty low. We'll get beat up, yeah. but we'll live. Yeah. If that comes into play, someone... Someone's dying. Dying. And then the other one's bleeding out later so, and it's going to die But in I'm ditch. still rolling the dice. Yeah. Same thing with a weapon, a gun. So with that said, if I can get it out of there and then fall back on my training, that's a major element. Yeah. I grapple a lot. I do these things a lot. Then the percentages of me living yeah. are greater. Yeah. The only drawback is the Good Samaritan or your buddy. Mm. He's over here watching what's going on and yeah. he picks that up. And Got that's an even worse day. Awesome. Let me grab this. Let's do something else. We're in some kind of little skirmish. It's not going well for me. And I draw and, and I'm, I'm ready to go. Yeah, for this me, sucks. yeah. Um, like if I stay here, I'm in your kill zone. Sewing machine. Yeah. Stab, 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 stab. Stab, 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 stab. This is a bad day for yeah. me. So one of my number one things is to try to get out of this area. You're sewing machine. I'm going to try to move myself away. Very similar to what we talked about earlier. Yeah. You know, get off the X. Yeah. Uh, my percentages of surviving that are better. Now, if I can't. I like that. So you just went for a, you went to take my back, but instead of taking my back, you pushed it away and used it as an exit strategy. Correct. That's good. And That's we good. probably fire a few loving moments in there while we're exiting. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> But that's my first go-to. If it fails and you force me to stay in your kill zone, then I got to get a double reinforced grip on that as best I can. Yeah, and that sucks. And start trying to destroy the connection to it. Yeah, and you're going to get cut while you do it, I'm sure. I, yes, I would think so. That's one of the reasons why my first choice is try to not be there. Yeah. Make space, superior angle, get ahead of time. And, you know, I can switch to another weapon system, mm -hmm. maybe a weapon of opportunity or I just create great space. You know, you have to change the way you look at the techniques you choose. Um, like we've talked about escaping side and going to guard or maybe going to knees, which you pretty much face down in front of them. Yeah. Great for grappling, but both of those place my vital organs right in front of you, yeah. right in your kill zone. Yeah. So uh, that's one of the reasons I would prefer like a backdoor escape. Mm. I want to try to move away from that area. Yeah. If I have a weapon system on, I want to take that with me. Yeah. I also want the ability to start elevating, getting off the floor. Yeah. And I like to have access to the feet because I want to destroy the ankles on the way yeah. out. So uh, that one would be a better choice because mm -hmm. I'm moving vitals and I'm moving my weapon system away. Yeah. Now, if you force me to stay there, well, then that kind of falls back on some grappling. I need to be good at it. Right. But uh, I may grapple to the point where I can have the ability to move. And then like we looked at earlier in the guard, I'm going to move all the way out to that long range post mm. uh, and separate as much as I can yeah. and start firing destructive force at you. Got it. Yeah. Um, if I'm close to you, it's harder to hit with yeah. that amount of power. And in, in any time I'm staying on the X, yeah. I want to start trying to strategically get away from that if possible. Got it. I said last question, but I totally lied. I have another last, last question. Um, you're a black belt and 20 something different martial arts. That's ground, that's stand up, that's weapons, all kinds of stuff, huge basis, huge background. You carry in the appendix position. Correct. Some guys swear by three o'clock, four o'clock. Correct. I mean, overall, I'm assuming you do appendix because it's the best all around for fighting. Yes. Uh, what uh, would you say to the three o'clock and four o'clock guys? Is that, is, that, is that okay? Is it still 
get the job done, but it changes things a little bit, or is it pretty darn bad? One of the things we do is we spend a lot of time training yeah. with our kid on. I'm not a fan of wearing it here, but I died less often when those <laughs> items were here. Right. So and you would prefer to be over here, but because of your force-on-force -force training, correct. you submitted to appendix. I actually, as when we started testing a lot of this, we started out here and it migrated to the front. Wow. Because if that? I pin you in the corner on your feet, if I pin you against the wall, your ability to get to it may be hindered. Yeah. If I put you on the ground, in certain positions, your ability to get to it are hindered. Yeah. Uh, another thing is too, is anytime you go to those things, we call it forming the V. Mm -hmm. What does that look like to you? Ooh, that, that looks like space. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind if I do. So uh, we found that we made less of that space yeah. with it here, yeah. both for the, the blade and the gun. Yeah. Um, and uh, we went back and we changed the bridging options, the shrimping mm -hmm. options, all of it changed to create more violent rotations of the body mm -hmm. because it makes it harder for you to reach or keep your grip on. Yeah. How does right. that work? I've got my gun at the three o'clock and I need to shrimp right. To get I'm to on it. my gun now. Right. I can't. So yeah, but your, your weight is on it and presumably their weight is also crushing down in part. Uh, yeah. And then uh, I worry about retention issues too. Correct. Yeah. Uh, there was a time where I wanted very little retention. So I'd be super fast on the draw. And I found when I started having any skirmishes, that gun would just kind of flop out. I'm like, no, 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 you got to turn the screws right. enough so it's not coming out in these grappling moments. People spend too much time on the range and not enough uh, rolling around. One so, thing to consider too is like if, if it's in the holster on your side and I reach and grab and you secure it, Yeah. right? Where, are you stronger here or are you stronger right in front of you? No, I'm stronger here. This is another reason because it makes it more difficult to, for you to get to. Yeah. And if we both have our hands on it, it makes it more of a struggle for you yeah. if I've connected it to my body. Yeah. You're going to make a lot of people upset about that. Well, you think you should apologize or anything or just... Alan is amazing. Awesome. We're here at his dojo in Woodstock, Georgia, and uh, would love for you to come train with him. Uh, visit warriorpostsociety.com or uh, sifuallenbaker.com, and I'm looking forward to meeting you guys. Come out and train. We'll have a good time. There we go. All right, guys. See you next time.